How's it going there, XDA TV? It's Rude Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about bloatware, all that junk that the carrier puts on your devices, Verizon, T-Mobile, and all them. We're going to show you an easy, simple way with a cool Windows utility to deal with all that. Let's go do this. All right, so to use this amazing tool, this deep bloater, this is what we got to do on our device. First things first, you have to get ADB debugging set up on your device. So I'm going to show you how to do it here. This is my Droid Turbo. And you're just going to go into settings and go to about phone. And you're going to find your build number. Tap on it. Um, right there it is, sorry. Until it enables developer options. And then you're going to see developer options. And you're going to make sure it's checked here. And you're going to turn on USB debugging right there. Once you have that done on your device, you'll just connect it up with your USB cable here on the bottom, and we'll go ahead and run this tool. This thing is quite amazing and does do quite a bit for you and just deals with that bloat really, really nicely and simply. So here we go on, here's the tool here. Um, it goes ahead and it just talks to you really quickly about the device. It says, please keep in mind that you have power to block things that could cause a boot loop, could cause your device not to work because you're gonna be able to block every single app on your device or disable it. This thing can do two different things. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you can see some information down here about your device. It's really nice. You, you can see your phone is connected. You can see your drivers are installed. Um, so if you have a Motorola device like this, you're gonna need the Motorola drivers, LG, LG drivers, and so on. I can link you to some of those if you need them. It tells you if your device is rooted because if you're not on KitKat, you have to use disable mode, not blocking mode. But if you have KitKat, you need no root access and you can still use this tool. That's the beauty of it. Uh, it gives you some other information about it, your model number and your battery level, which is really nice as well. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna read phone packages or read the phone's applications. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And it gives you a full list of all the apps on the device. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my app drawer just so you can see what's in here right now. And it's really pretty simple. Basically, if you want to block something, you can actually already see some stuff that I have blocked here already. And if you want to block something, you just select it and it'll block it. Anything with a check mark, it's going to block or leave blocked. So if we want to block something, just for an example, I'm going to block out the calculator. So it's checked. Once you pick what you want to do, you just come up here to say apply. And boom, it blocks that specific application. And if you're paying attention, it actually pulled it off of my phone. Well, let me phrase that. It's not pulled off the phone, it's still technically there, but you can't see it and it's not gonna use up uh, RAM and processing power to be running in the background. That's really why we're doing this. So then you hit read phone state again, and you can do whatever you want. And you can block or unblock multiples. So you just, if you wanna unblock all these that I have already previously blocked, I can do that and I can apply it and watch them all come back into the phone here. See them coming back in the app drawer? So there you go. Now you've got those applications back. It's very much that simple. We'll do it one more time and I'm gonna show you one more feature that's really cool. If you want everything that is blocked on your phone, which you can see I actually have 27 applications right here, I can click this button and then I can hit apply and that's going to unblock all 27 applications that are blocked and you should actually, well, most of them aren't on the front page. There you can see some changing. And actually you can see that it's telling me I have updates for those applications that I had previously blocked. So very, very nice, and it'll do all of them and completely unblock everything that you have tinkered with. But if you're tired of looking at the icons, you're tired of them using up your processing power on your device, all these Verizon bloatware and junk that I had disabled, this is a excellent tool for that. So last but not least, guys, let's really quickly, I'm gonna check another thing that's really cool. I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is on a KitKat device. This is my Droid Turbo. I'm gonna show you how to do this on my uh, Droid Bionic, which is actually a Jelly Bean device. And this actually works on Jelly Bean or um, Lollipop, which is really, really awesome. So let me show you that. All right, so I've got my device right here plugged in. And again, it gives me all the information about it. Droid Bionic, battery percentage, all that good stuff. Let's read our phone packages on this device. And there you go. Now this is not actually gonna be using the blocking process we use with KitKat, which doesn't require root access. This way of doing it 
actually requires root access. You're gonna have to have that ADB stuff, your driver's installed. You're gonna have to have super su or super user for root access. And that's gonna have to be there for lollipop and for jelly bean or anything below gingerbread and all that kind of stuff. You have to have root. But like I said, for KitKat, no root access required to do this. So for here, we're gonna actually do another quick test. We'll go into the app drawer on this device. And we'll actually get rid of, because I don't like this Verizon junk. See that VZ navigation? We're gonna get rid of that really quickly. So we're gonna come down here. We're gonna go to Verizon navigation right there. And you can see, now normally it'll have the name of the package. Some things will have names, some of them will be called that com and, and your APK. So you have to kind of decipher what's on here. But I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. You can see it's listed up here. Go ahead and hit apply. And it does ask for super user rights because that's what we're doing a little different here with these other Android versions. And then, boom, there it goes. It says it's disabled and you can see it moved it out of the app drawer. There you go, pretty sweet, right? All right, so let's read package state one more time. And I think you guys get the point. You can go through all this and disable and enable them as, well, as you might like. And then right there you can see it's checked because it's disabled on the phone. So this tool is quite amazing. Like I said, should work on all Android versions. It's been tested on Jelly Bean, KitKat, and Lollipop. Um, let us know how it works on yours. If you have a different Android version, I'd really be happy to see how that works. And if there's any bugs, we'll definitely get them worked out. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up here for me on this amazing deep loader tool. Just want to give, again, a quick shout-out to the developer, Gates. He's put in tons of tons of hours on this thing and made this tool very, very nice for us users to use. So really, really happy about that. If you guys like this content, please uh, check me out at rootjunkie.com, my channel. On YouTube, I cover this and tons of stuff, phones, tablets, watches, you name it, Android TV. It's all right there. So... Also, please subscribe to XDA Developers up here. You can see some links, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.